Righto, Hellier College math students, let's do some budgeting. And I've been told by some of you that you're quite good at budgeting, so this should be easy. Okay, so we have uh, an itemised budget here. And first off, we have a wage. I think this person's name is Simon. This is Simon's budget. Simon, the apprentice builder. Okay, so... The income, Simon gets $1,150 oh, $1, per fortnight, but we want to make a weekly budget. So a fortnight is two weeks, so we'll divide that by two. That's $575 per week. So that's going to go in the income column, and that's Simon's only income. So the rest of our calculations will end up in the expenditure column. So we're going to use all this information here to do Simon's budget on this table. So, rent, renting with these three friends, so they divide it three ways, and it's 600 per fortnight, so to divide it by, into per week, we divide by two. So we divide by three because of Simon's, uh, is sharing with his friends, and then divide by two to take it from fortnightly to weekly. And so that'll cost Simon $100. So we'll put that in the expenditure column, along with the rest of this stuff. Okay, food. They are spending on food $250, and they're dividing that three ways. So 83.33. Power. This is a quarterly bill. I believe the. The power is quarterly, the quarterly power bill, $350. So we take the $350 and we divide that by 12, okay, because there are 12 weeks in a quarter. One quarter is three months. So to make this weekly, we need to divide by 12 weeks. Also, <clears throat> because Simon's sharing this with his friends, we divide this three ways again, like earlier. So we could have done that either way around. We could have divided by three first, then by 12, but we get the same answer either way. So that's $29.17. <clears throat> Phone is given as uh, per month, 62 per month. So we need to divide that by four. And that gives us $29, oh sorry, $15.15. Car rego. So per year, the car is, well, $380. And there are 52 weeks in a year, so we need to divide this by 52. So seven dollars and thirty one cents. Uh, and insurance four twenty per year, also divided by fifty two. Eight dollars and eight cents. Petrol, we're given that weekly, so that goes in. We don't need to do anything with that. That's just straight up thirty five dollars a week. Education is given per year, $620. So because it's for the year, we divide that by 52. And that gives us $11.92. Clothing. So what have we got here? $200 a year. Not bad, he's... Not wasting money on clothes, that's not a bad year's effort. So $3.85 a week. How would you guys go with that if you were given $3.85 a week for your clothes? Would you be okay? Okay, and entertainment, $50 a week. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Simon's total expenditure. We add all these up. So, 100. Let's add them all up. Uh, 
and each week Simon spends $343.81. Now his income is just the $575. So is Simon in surplus or deficit? Well, surplus is income minus, minus expenditure. So 575 minus his expenditure, 343.81, gives us a grand total of $1,000. So Simon is going to be able to save some money uh, with this budget. So he's in surplus. Okay, surplus is the difference between income and expenditure. If he was spending more than he was making, he'd be in deficit. Okay, so that's how we do the weekly budget. Go ahead now and try the question from the description for the video.